Nina Simakopoulos is a faculty member from the College of Music. Her continued involvement with the arts extravaganza has helped to make it a great success. I had the chance to talk with Nina about the arts extravaganza, and here's what she had to say. Well, the College of Musical Arts is involved in that we've brought many students together who are interested and excited to perform for the event, um, all under this one roof of um, the School of Art, and we'll be um, performing lots of different kinds of music. We have jazz ensemble, we have um, singing groups, we have early music from the Renaissance period, we have contemporary music that was written in the last 10 years, and so the students who are active in each of these groups will be performing about 30 to 40 minutes in different locations, one of them being in front of the main gallery, another location being back in the area of the Wonkelman Gallery, and then upstairs where the painting studio is as well. Okay, um, and you talk about all these different groups coming together, different types of music. Um, what do you see as some of the benefits of this sort of collaboration? There's so many benefits to this collaboration. Um, for one, it gives the music students an opportunity to be in performance next to so many other students who are performing such a variety of, of genres of music. Then it gives all of the musicians and all of the students an opportunity to be in an area where lots of other arts are being performed. So after they're done their performance, they can walk around the building and, and watch a dance performance or watch a theater performance. And it also gives them an opportunity to connect with the community, um, to show the community what they're up to here as students and what, what their passions are as musicians, and give back to the community and also give back to the university community as, as well. Hey, we're the Heebie Bee Gees, and this is the 12 Wonderful Days of Christmas. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, on the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five golden rings. Four golden three French hens, turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the ninth day of Christmas, on the eighth day, day of Christmas, my true love gave to me eight, 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 eight
you just come here and then uh, uh, sit down and then uh, almost like a meditation but uh, think about just the nature and uh, you'll be able to settle your life you know sort of a, a spirit you know down here while we are doing the tea ceremony I understand calligraphy and flower arrangements are an important part of the ceremony. Um, would you explain why? Uh, it's not just only the, the, the calligraphy and then the, tea, uh, the flower arrangement. Okay. Um, that's a part of it. You know? um, because when you see the tokonoma, that is uh, um, where you can see the, uh, the scrolls you know, that has a uh, calligraphy. And then also you will see a very, uh, very humble looking uh, flowers, you know, that's different from the so-called ikebana Japanese flower arrangement. Okay. Uh, because of that, everything comes from the nature. You know. And uh, you will see the uh, uh, lacquerware, and you will see uh, pottery, you know, uh, you will see a more iron, you know, uh, products, and then also uh, uh, wood, you know, um, a lot of utensils are uh, uh, just Japanese art. And then not only the Japanese art, but uh, you will see the way of uh, the Japanese people life and uh, what we believe in, you know, uh, we believe in the harmony is really important. So the guests and the host will be uh, together and then uh, just uh, respecting each other and the, the guests will think about the host and the host will, host will think about the guest, you know. So um, it's a nice, uh, this, the only time we are here and then uh, enjoy the tea. You know, that's the philosophy came from um, the uh, Sen no Rikyu about 400 years ago. Okay. And um, what do you wish for the public to learn about the tea ceremony and um, Japanese culture? Uh, because when we said the tea ceremony, uh, you know, a lot of people just think, oh, just a tea, you know, drinking tea. Okay. Uh, but this tea ceremony, the tea is a little different from the uh, Japanese tea everybody can, you know, uh, enjoy at the restaurant. Okay. Uh, so different, and then it's a powder one, and I'll be uh, kind of uh, making it with a special, you know, utensil. So uh, maybe it's a secret that then, uh, when they come, you can, they can enjoy it. But uh, also, um, I would like them to uh, taste the Japanese uh, sweets too. writing department at BGSU will be represented at the arts extravaganza as well. Stokely Klovsky is a graduate student at BG and he agreed to recite one of his poems. Here's Stokely reciting Trying Not to Imagine the Blue Ridge Mountains. It's ingenious, the necks of birds, swizzle sticks, elemental trees steeped in the same stock, swan, stork, seahawk the intangible ring of owl necks, rows of weeds, weaponry disguised on a barber's pole, raptor, rapture, incandescence poised to strike, a cliff, a talon with the ground in focus, eyes not cameras are designed like words, metals that don't exist, steam engines and miles of iron, a hogshead of liquid lead, a mercury of attention, Rocks carry the scent of hemoglobin as they play ring around the rosy, never winking. A challenge of balance, argue with current, furs and a calendar of petrifications if the sky were improvised, houses of sound, mansions of sound, sound as towns, sleeping bags of quartzite, marble fingers. In the event color is simple, break glass, intrude, protect, elect on similarity, Perspire, look here, collect. 